Hey guys, Andy here. I've got another head-to-head, -head, um, another device up against the Nexus 6. This time it's the OnePlus One, running Android 4.4.4, 2 gigahertz crate 400 CPU, sat on the Snapdragon 801 chipset with the Adreno 330 GPU and 3 gig of RAM. The Nexus 6 running Android 5.0, a 2.7 gigahertz crate 450 CPU, Snapdragon 805 chipset, Adreno 420 GPU and 3 gig of RAM. Uh, the big difference really being the price point of them both. <clears throat> so the OnePlus One you could, uh, I would class as a mid-range device at £270, whereas the Nexus 6 pushes up into top end at 480 So uh, I guess the real question is, uh, do you get that much more bang for your buck with the Nexus 6? Um, my suspicion is you probably don't as, you know, uh, bang per pound, but... Uh, you know, that's what my videos are for. Let's let's check them out and see what happens. Now, normally I would do a, a boot up test or a restart test, but because the Nexus 6 is encrypted, uh, I basically can't really because it stops asking for passwords and all sorts. Now, I am going to put the OnePlus One up into performance mode because actually there's no reason not to, really, <laughs> basically. And uh, we will then move along to the Angry Birds opening test. The only annoying thing I've, someone's pointed out is that the performance mode resets each reboot obviously i haven't rebooted so we're fine we are still in performance but if you need performance mode don't forget each time you reboot you need to select it again so the one plus one just edges out the nexus 6 in the first test we're going to run it a second time just to be sure again the splash screen up slightly quicker I mean, it is only a split second but the one plus one so I'm getting that touch sensitivity issue on the OnePlus One there. So the OnePlus One did win that 2-0. We won with the third. And we'll move straight along to Geekbench if it doesn't crash. That's the first time I've seen it crash, to be honest. I wouldn't say there's stability issues on Lollipop. That's the only time I've ever seen it happen. So we see the specs there. We're going to go ahead and run the benchmarks. Initially, you can see they both start off very similar. As usual, I won't make you watch the whole thing. The uh, OnePlus One actually finished a smidgen before the Nexus 6, which is odd because it didn't score higher, but still a very respectable score. There aren't many devices that break over 3,000 in Geekbench 3, and the OnePlus One is in that club. So uh, for its price, I think that's a fantastic result. If we have a look at sort of how they compare to other devices, as you can see, the OnePlus One edges out the uh, S5, although they, they some, some of those look a little bit low to what I've scored. Um, I'm talking a lot about the OnePlus One. Obviously, the Nexus 6 won that. It does have some of the best benchmarking I've seen, even against the Note 4. It uh, it does beat it. 3,200 isn't the highest I've seen it do. It's done the high three threes before. But both very respectable scores, but the Nexus 6 is the winner. We're heading outside now for my GPS test. As usual, I will reset the AGPS state on each device and then come back out. Then I'll go back in, and we'll see how quickly they lock. The Nexus 6 is aware of 12 satellites compared to the OnePlus One's 3, 4. The Nexus 6 has locked. The OnePlus One get in there, and I would say I've never had any problems. I use the OnePlus One for sat -nav for a week every day, pretty much no problems. So it does look like, oh my goodness, this is really slow. How on earth do you cope? But because it uses so many other things to know roughly where it is, actually, the uh, a rough location is plenty good enough. It knows what street you're on, for example, uh, until the actual GPS locks in. Although this is a particularly slow example. It's happened a couple of times like this, and other times it seems to have been a bit quicker. But obviously, there we go. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep running the test until I get a good one. I'm just gonna literally run it the one time, see what happens and show you the results. So there you go, clearly the Nexus 6 was the winner. We're moving on to the speaker test. Now this one will be interesting because actually the OnePlus One has an amazing speaker, I think. I'm, I probably put more weight on the quality of the speaker and the volume of the speaker than most people. I do like listening to my podcast in the morning, so almost every day for 20 minutes to half an hour, the speaker is really important to me. Uh, the Nexus 6 has stereo front-facing speakers, top and bottom. The OnePlus One, whilst it has two speakers, it's mono, uh, it's dual speaker, I think they've called it. So it does have two, but only uh, not in stereo. Got the volume turned up, sorry.
Tell me where to go, tell me what to do I'll be right there for you Tell me what to say, no matter if it's true I'll pay it all for you, for you, for you, for you I used to be the type of kid that would all I'll say it all for you, for you, for you I used to be the type of kid that would always think the sky is falling. Why am I so different in Harvard and Split? Instead of trying to escape through my comics, why don't I just blast a little something like Onyx to put me in the mood to want to fight and write songs that want to say that a kid I can be iconic? So, as I mentioned, I think they're, they're both actually very good. Uh, the OnePlus One possibly has the edge on the volume, but that could be because the speakers are pointed more towards me sat behind the camera, and the Nexus 6 points up. Um, so, slightly louder for the OnePlus One, but possibly slightly better around sound. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws, and now we're in the situation where people are clamoring for the essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws, and now we're in the situation Google's and the Facebook's and the Twitter's to lock them out and provide real, um, uncrackable uh, encryption where people are clamoring for the Google's and the Facebook's and the Twitter's to lock them out and provide real, um, uncrackable uh, I think that really that just confirms from uh, what we heard from the music, really. The OnePlus One, again, possibly slightly louder, but the Nexus 6, it just sounds, I think it sounds fantastic. The spoken voice sounds so sort of, I mean, I keep, I always use the word rounded when it sounds like this, so you get a little bit of bass in there, but also decent volume. Um, we move on to the browser test. Obviously, clear previous browsing data, as usual. Then we're going to go in. We'll start off with uh, the BBC website. Use my usual trio of sites. I try and start them up at the same time. And it looks like uh, the, the uh, OnePlus One loaded up just a bit before. Someone pointed out to me that if on my PC, if I crank up the resolution, obviously it strains the graphic, graphics card more when you lower your FPS, which I guess is the same situation for displaying a web page. So the Nexus 6 obviously has Quad HD. The OnePlus One just has regular 1080p. I mean, I did. I, if I'm honest, I thought that was more about kind of rendering 3D graphics. Yeah, it's going to be harder on a bigger scale, but I suppose it's going to apply just to loading images in, is it? I don't know. I'm still looking for confirmation on that. But once again, you have the OnePlus One. It does appear to, to uh, have the edge in the browser test. We'll finish off the third usual uh, website. And there we go, once again, the OnePlus One is in there before the Nexus 6. But uh, both very quick. I think both are perfectly smooth. You can see both have lovely screens. Um, you know, there's, there's, not a, there's not a great deal to be had between them there. So the interesting thing is the OnePlus One is a much cheaper device. So it's sort of 270, you need to add shipping to that, so maybe 280. The Nexus 6, I mean, Google themselves We'll sell it at 500 for the 32 gig or 550 for the 64. So actually, the OnePlus One at 64 is going to be 270, and the Nexus 6 is going to be 550. So basically, the Nexus 6 is twice as expensive. Is it twice as good? No, it's not. No way near is it twice as good. But then that's, you know, when you get to the top end, you do end up paying a lot more money. Is the OnePlus One good enough for you? Only really you will be able to tell. Um, I think it's a fantastic device for the price. The only thing I have problems with is sometimes the touch sensitivity on the screen, as you might have seen a couple of times in this video. It doesn't seem to respond when it should. But apart from that, for its price, I think it's an amazing phone. Um, so, you know, I'll leave it up to you. OnePlus One versus the Nexus 6. My name's Andy. Catch you all again soon.